All right, so we're gonna watch this episode. Uh, a few things to kind of like pick up on as you, as you watch this. Um, well, there's kind of a lot going on, uh, but I wanna watch this and just kind of think about a few, a few bits and pieces, okay? So in 2002, there was a, a large Catholic, set, uh, Catholic uh, child abuse, sex abuse uh, scandal that broke. Um, they made movies about it. I mean, it was like it opened the floodgates on it. It was a major, 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 major thing. So obviously that becomes a part of this, 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 this episode, um, you know, is, is questioning, you know, will uh, Father Maxie, you know, um, have sex with the, the boys of South Park? They don't, the, you know, the parents are all worried about, it. they're so worried about it that they want to become atheists, um, you know, and they become like really, like really, you know, fundamentalist atheists, you know, oh, let's kill God, you know, is what Butter's dad says. Um, you know, so they become fun so fundamentalists, you know, that, you know, obviously the equation of them crapping out of their mouths is incredibly uh, significant, um, you know, because they're just talking a bunch of crap, you know, which is what happens when, when you believe dogmatically in things, okay? Um, but we have a critique of atheism and the Catholic sacred deposit, um, which, which South Park parodies and satirizes in this, right? The holy document of Vatican law. Um, and, you know, what you end up having in this and the queen spider is a sort of representation of these dogmatic views of the Catholic church, right? You find out, like, basically there's a queen spider. I mean, they just take it to, like, the most ridiculous level, Matt and Trey do, to, to kind of show how, um, you know, the sacred deposit in these old belief systems where they, you know, in those belief systems is that, you know, priests can't marry, can't have sex, um, but can have sex with young boys, you know. Um, and when Father Maxie finds the sacred deposit and changes the rules, the church, the church crumbles, right, which is, you know, interesting metaphor. Um, but really the attack here is like the inability for these religious beliefs, you know, systems and religions to change and modernize their beliefs, like still holding on to, um, you know, problematic views of women, prob problematic views of homosexuality, um, you know, that are just outdated, you know, incredibly outdated. That's why when you have, you know, the current Pope who is a little bit more liberal, you know, um, people think he's, you know, extremely liberal, you know, because he's, he's, you know, trying to, in some ways, update and save the frickin' church. Um, but we also have, you know, this element of fundamentalism that, that plays a part here in a critique of fundamentalist viewpoints, specifically of, of atheism. Um, there's a lot of carnivalesque here, um, um, you know, and, you know, they show just how ridiculous things are, specifically like the Queen Spider, the Galgamex, um, you know, let's forget about the Galgamex. Forget about the Galgamex! You know, everybody, all the priests when they get together, you know, it's similar to the rabble, rabble, you know. Um, but there's a subjection, you know, they subject fundamentalist viewpoints, uh, specifically atheism, uh, to the lower body where, where they're shitting out of their mouths, you know, I mean, that's really what, 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 go, what goes on here that's incredibly valuable. Um, but there's also, just pay attention to a few other things, yeah, we have the queen spider um, who represents, you know, what they see as ridiculously dated and, you know, ridiculous um, beliefs, essentially, that the believers have in these documents, you know. Um, uh, you know, but like they're suggesting in this too, like that what's in the Bible is not inerrant. It's not truth. It's not history. It's stories. It's about how you should live your life. It's suggestions, moral stories for how you should live uh, on earth. Pay attention to the whole crapping thing, um, specifically as it relates to atheism, because I do think there's a lot of interesting bits and pieces in there. Again, going in on fundamentalism. Um, we'll, go, we'll talk about this a little bit uh, after the break. So just again, think of the carnivalesque. Think of can religion inspire critical thought or what happens when you question uh, religious beliefs. Think about 
the attack on fun, on fundamentalism in this uh, in this episode and this sort of idea of unquestioning beliefs on both the atheist view and the Catholic view. Okay, enjoy this episode. It's one of my favorites. Red Hot Catholic Love, and then we'll come back after the jump. <laughs> 